All right, here's take two of my Facebook live video um, this Monday morning. Uh, this is basically something I posted in text on my Facebook, but I also wanted to comment on in video just because I know there's a lot of people who will watch video who won't necessarily read a long block of text on Facebook. Um, as most of you know, today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Uh, a day we celebrate a man who literally gave his life, both in life and in death, <clears throat> to fight for a, a, a new world. Um, and that was always important to me. He was always a figure that inspired me. Um, but in the last few years, he's become increasingly important to me uh, as I became the father of a black son. Um, and the awareness uh, I have of being... Uh, in a world where my son is going to be disadvantaged and biased against and prejudiced against because of the color of his skin is something that I knew theoretically, but um, uh, when I start seeing it in reality, especially towards him as a child, and know it's only going to get harder as he becomes an adult, um, the legacy and the work of Martin Luther King Jr. and the other women and men who worked alongside him and all the countless people who have continued to fight uh, since his death um, is critical. Um, and today you're going to see, including from myself, quotes and memes and pictures of MLK, and that's great. Uh, we need to be reminded of, the, of, of his wisdom, his example, and his sacrifice. But as I said earlier on Facebook, we have to be careful because unless our lives are also equally invested in working towards the vision that he put forward, um, our memes and our quotes and our pictures can be empty and meaningless. It can even be a, a, an appropriation of his legacy for some good social media plus points. Um, and case in point, uh, within a couple of day period over this weekend, uh, President-elect Donald Trump both tweeted praise for MLK today, but also casually and ignorantly dismissed the work of Representative John Lewis, uh, failing to recognize his work, uh, both historically and today and everything in between, to make this world a better place. Um, and I use it as an example because it's too easy to just post social media quotes or videos, <laughs> for that matter. Um, we need to start having conversations uh, in the, in the uh, white community about uh, how we can better engage, better learn, um, better repent, uh, because this is becoming a reality that needs more engagement, not less, but it needs engagement informed by the wisdom of, of leaders like Martin Luther King Jr. and John Lewis and the countless women and men um, who live the reality of uh, a very... Um, racist, white supremacist culture uh, in the world today. Um, uh, one of the commitments, and it's a very small one, but one of the commitments I have made is that I've committed myself to, to studying and reading more from the perspective of those uh, who have lived that reality. And I don't mean just um, things like um, books like The New Jim Crow by Michelle Alexander, though those kind of books are incredible. But as a pastor and as a Christian, I'm now making an emphasis in my study of theology from the perspective of non-white writers, women writers. Um, uh, yeah, and, 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 and to not as a subset of theology, but as a central way of viewing God and how to live in this world. And, and that has changed the way I view my own faith, uh, both what I've held in the past and what I move forward with in the future. And I need those kind of resources in my life. Um, an interesting side effect... Um, of uh, President-elect Trump's recent disparagement of Representative John Lewis on Twitter is that John Lewis's graphic novel series, March, which I picked up here, uh, I got it for Christmas, um, has hit number one on Amazon. Amazon. All, of all Amazon books, it's the number one bestseller. And in fact, I think it's out of stock um, because of the sales demand, which is fantastic. Uh, just so you know, it's a, it's a three-volume... Uh, graphic novel series. You can see the three volumes here. Incredibly uh, uh, illustrated by um, uh, Nate Powell and written by John Lewis himself along with Andrew Aiden. Uh, and it's a great way of informing yourself 
uh, your family, especially kids, young adults, uh, about the history of the civil rights movement. Um, and uh, uh, in the words of, of um, former President Bill Clinton, this book uh, reaches across uh, history from a past of clenched fists into a future of outstretched hands. It's, it's a sad recognition of, of where things were, but also uh, deeply rooted in the hope of where things can come. So I'll put a link in the comment section below. But um, if you post anything about MLK today, take some time before you hit the enter button and consider what aspect of your life is going to work towards embodying those values and not just simply doing the all too easy thing of, uh, of posting a, a, a meme or a quote or a picture. Uh, those things can be effective, but it's, it's not enough. Um, for me, I am committed to digging deeper because um, literally lives are at stake. Uh, and for me, not least of which is my son. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, happy MLK Day. Uh, forgive the unshaven uh, look. I'm a, a father of a newborn, and so it's probably very apparent. Uh, but, um, yeah, God bless. Peace.